Hi everyone, I'm Jared with Sweeney Rogers Garrity, and today I'm going to show you how to access one of the Fujitsu wall heads, ASU 7, 9, 12, 15, RLF 1. I'm going to show you how to install an interface kit, and along with that some other accessories, or even just to access this unit for general service and cleaning. Um, full disclaimer on this, all of these parts and accessories are going to come with an installation manual, so this training video is not to be used as a replacement to that. Please read your manuals, do everything the proper way per manufacturer specifications. But this is just some helpful hints to be used as a guide when you're out on a job site looking to make these installations or do a service on a unit. Also, just to add, any time that we're going to be working on a system, we want to make sure that our power supply is turned off either at the circuit breaker or your disconnect box, so everything is powered down and it's safe to work on. So first, I'm going to start with one of the most popular accessories, which is the UTY XCB XZ2 interface kit. You're going to need to add this part to your head in order to connect a thermostat, a Wi-Fi module, or potentially an end switch for integrated controls, rebates, or something like that if you're going to do something externally with the unit. So what I'm going to do is show you how to gain access. So there's going to be a handful of screws we have to remove. One, two, there's three on the bottom after we pop off our little white tabs. Another one, another one, there's another one under here in this corner, this side as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those after I take this off by just popping this up. So now it's time to remove the case after the filters. Pop those filters out, make it a little easier. Now we gotta get the case off the unit. The best way I have personally found to do this is to get the bottom past your louvers. So I start at the bottom and I start working my way up. So, Couple of things about this interface kit. I already have one installed in this unit for this wall remote control here. Show you a couple of things that are going to help in getting this hidden over here. So, if we pop this cover off, the reason that we need this kit is there are some connectors in here. You see those white Molex plug-ins? These are going to give us our access points to plug in all of our accessories, whether it be a controller like this one on the wall a Wi-Fi module, or an end switch. So, this little angled flange here, you can see that little plastic piece that comes down at an angle with that screw hole, that is gonna be your mounting guide right there. That's gonna be mounting right to a factory hole in the unit. This whip comes already on the unit, one end plugged in here, one end open here. This is going to plug into your existing control board up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover and show you where this actually mounts inside the unit. Alright, so you can see the interface kit installed. Right over here is that little angle I was talking about. There's a screw, it is tight access to get in there, but this will mount in and be completely concealed underneath your electrical box. So what you're going to want to do is you run that wiring harness that plugs into your interface kit up, plug it into the only spot that it can plug in on the board. And then from there, we do have our thermostat wire, which is plugged into our wall controller right here. That would be the same plug if you were going to use a Wi-Fi adapter. This module right here is our Wi-Fi adapter that uses the FGL Air app. This is the UTY TFN XZ2 model. And this right here is going to plug in, again, to the only spot it can plug into. Fits right in there. So something like this. This would be the same connection that's on the Wi-Fi adapter if you wanted to hook up a wired thermostat, like that one that we have on the wall. 
basically it comes with a connector that is this connection with the wires coming off so you could extend your wire over to your control. All right, so now that your interface kit has been installed with your wall thermostat, Wi-Fi adapter, or other accessory, now it's time to go ahead and reassemble the unit. So now that our unit is fully reassembled, we're ready to reapply power and get this unit back up and running. Thank you for your time. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to SRGI.